All right. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Aloha Hour number 53, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The 53rd one. Right. Um, before we get things rocking and rolling with our special guest here today, I'd like to remind you to please share, like, subscribe, do all the things that's going to help us grow. Because when we grow, you grow. And when you grow, we all grow together. It's awesome. We can get bigger guests to come in. Maybe one day we'll get Beyonce here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Beyonce. It's exactly what I was looking for. But do you want the black Beyonce or the white Beyonce? Nah, give him both. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, our guest of today, he's a pro MMA fighter with 30 professional fights in various organizations. He fought on the last Bellator card here in Hawaii, where he defeated the, uh, with the, in unanimous fashion the hyped up Nainoa Dung. Now he's competing in the Dana White new organization Slap, where he shows off his one slap knockout power <laughs> on the big stage. He is. Zach Zane. Hey. Up, guys? Thanks yeah. for having me. Man. All right. Stoked to be here. Stoked to be here. Hey, thank you for coming out, yeah. bro. It's stoked to have you here. It's stoked to see how far you've come. <laughs> Still going. Man. Yeah. Push me out, man. Hum it's, 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 it's humbling, you know. It's crazy. It's, it's, it, how does that, like, start? Well, for you, I want to know. How does it start? Like, you know, what was their first inkling of, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life fighting? Like this uh, is man, yeah. That could, that could get deep and long, but man, it's simple for me. Was uh, finding like a purpose in it, you know. For when I first started fighting, I didn't have kids or anything, and then once I had my daughter, and I was still fighting, it, it gave me a little sense of purpose, you know. And um, when you find your purpose in anything, you become passionate, you know. And mm. that's kind of where it just went. Pew, you mm. know? It's, yeah. it's, it's remarkable because like I just you know when I first seen you I was like okay he's scrappy yeah. and then you became professional <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. a professional yeah. athlete there's a big yeah. difference there's between difference. Yeah. scrappy guys and yeah. Yeah. being a professional athlete for MMA oh yeah you know? yeah that's for sure that's for sure so daughter how old's your daughter my daughter's 11 and my son is 6 Ooh. yeah that's crazy it's like I said, and I was just telling him, I still feel like a kid, you know. <laughs> you see the guy in the mirror, like what? <laughs> yeah, man. That's tremendous, yeah, man. Yeah. So take us to the beginning. You're from, you're Maui, born and raised. Uh, no, I was actually born in uh, Indonesia. Actually, you know, a lot of people don't know that. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? yeah. So a lot of people think I'm born and raised. I mean, I was definitely raised in Hawaii. You know, like Hawaii is my roots for sure. But like born, I was born in Indonesia, and um. They didn't really. I spoke English, but not good, you know. And came to in. I came to Maui when I was like six, seven. And I was back and forth Indonesia, and then you know I was raised from there. Like yeah. And what did what did they speak in Indonesia? I'm, I'm uh, Bahasa is called Bahasa. Yeah, Bahasa. And my dad, my dad's family was on Maui, and my dad was like, no, my son's gonna grow in the states and play sports, and you know. And, what is there to do in Indonesia? You know? I don't know. I've never been. That's I mean, why I'm so intrigued. I mean, it's it's a nice place, beautiful place to go visit and eat, and you know the culture, the life, surf, and the surf, the best, one of the best surfs in the world. You know, so oh. I went from like island to island because it's, it's just a bunch of islands in Indonesia. It's just like Hawaii, you know. Oh wow! But just more. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. So do you still speak Bahal? I could I could speak Bahasa a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Bahasa. So, yeah, Bahasa, yeah. Bahasa. Yeah, I could go back there. I could understand more than um. I could speak it, but like when I, once I'm around it more, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just catch the vibe. Kind of catch on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a trip. Yeah. So you came about six, seven years old, and when did you start like uh, getting into any form of um, combat? Well, my, I was kind of born into it. My mom's, um, my mom's father, my grandpa was like a kung fu master in Indonesia, so he was like well renowned in Indonesia and in China too. So I was born into it, to be honest. Oh and, wow! Uh, but like as for fighting and stuff, I came to Maui and I did. What Taekwondo since I was like six to ten, and I started boxing, and then from there I I, I just went box for like a couple of years, and then stopped, and I just did straight sports. So I didn't think I was gonna fight, you know. Mm -hmm. Those fighting came out of just um to be honest, my dad died my senior year in high school, mm -hmm. and then you know if you're an 18 year old kid, you know you kind of get dark real quick, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of left on the island by myself. Um, my mom left. She went to Singapore. I was alone for a, a while, you know, so I was like, what am I going to do? You know, I, feel, I just felt like yeah, I didn't even care about my life, to be honest, you know. And next thing you know, my friend is training with Kendall Grove and he just won the ultimate fighter at the time. And I said, yeah. bro, if my little friend is training with Kendall Grove, 
I could train with Ken Lebron, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, I'd smoke you straight yeah. up, you know? <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah. Bro, how are you, you know? He's like, he's like, yeah, I want to train to fight. I was like, you're going to train to fight. I was like, bro. I was like, I was like bring me where you train. Yeah. So that's when I met Kendall. And, um, man, it, honestly, man, if it wasn't for Kendall Grove, I probably wouldn't have started fighting, you know? Just seeing what he did back in the day and mm -hmm. his progression. And, you know, he was in the limelight and he was in the big stage and, He's from Maui, you know, like yeah. I could do, I'm from Maui, like I'm a human, I, uh, what's the difference between me and him, you know, like, yeah. and next thing you know, I'm, I'm doing it still to this day, you know, it's crazy. It's That's crazy. tremendous. Yeah. I love Kendall Grove, like yeah. uh, as a fan, I never met him, Yeah. but uh, watching him from the Ultimate oh, yeah. Fighter to this yeah. day and yeah. how much he's... OG. No, he's OG, yeah, for And he's sure. really f extremely pro Maui, hands yeah. down. Oh yeah. Like yeah. number one. Yeah. So he has a nice, he has a nice gym on Maui, you know. Me and him don't really keep in touch anymore, but you know, I got nothing but utmost respect for you, Kendall. Like <laughs> you don't know it, but because of you, I'm probably still fighting to this day, you know. Like, yeah, that's tremendous. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. It's crazy how it, things just fall into place. You know, I trained with him for only six months. He's like, you want to fight? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> fight! You know, <laughs> and I fought this guy Luis Paole, who had like, man, over. 30 40 fights professionally Holy. and i fought him as an amateur so when i fought him he was a pro and i was an amateur it's on youtube i did not bad you know he, yeah. you know he told me take him down I, but he said he doesn't have ground game he had two cauliflower ears i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> something didn't know. Add yeah, up. Something did it add up you know? I was like, Shit. he was a tall guy so i thought he was a uh, uh, kickboxer he looked like but then i saw the ears i was like oh and he was with bj penn at the time oh. at the weigh-ins it was BJ, uh, the Brown, the Brahma, the Brahma Bull, whatever. I forget. This big guy, and BJ Penn. They walked him out to the oh. to the weigh-ins, and I was like, "Oh shit, he's with BJ." <laughs> I was like, "Shit, I didn't know it is," you know. But at the time, I was like, "Yeah, I'm young. I don't know nothing. I'm I've been training. I've I. This is what I want to try to do. Let's let's see, you, you know." And I was hooked, to be honest. I lost that fight, but I was I fell in love that night too. Oh. Mm. That's why every fight, I, I honestly find a little bit about something new about myself. You know, whether win or lose, I find out like, you know, oh, you are courageous or you are kind of fearful or you are kind of brave, you know, so, it's something, something different every time, you know, yeah, it's crazy. That's tremendous. Yeah, yeah. It's therapeutic, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, it really is. Yeah. So what do you do when you don't fight? When you oh, don't train. Man, when I don't train, I mean, I'm always training, to be honest, because I feel like if I'm not training, something inside of me feels like I'm just doing something wrong, you know? So, like, I, 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 I keep it in my lifestyle to train, but if I do have a fight coming up, I'll up my training, you know? Like, if I don't have a camp, I'll train just, like, once a day or something. But if I do have a camp, it's two, three times a day. Change the diet, you know? You just, just be serious, you know? You really, like, you don't want to get embarrassed, you know? And you want to fight hard and, and people want to see you perform, you know, win or lose. If you perform and you fight hard, you're going to get a job, you know. So, yeah. And like I said, man, everything's for my kids. And I, I, I'm very grateful to still be doing it to this day. You know, like I, I can't believe I'm still doing it. And there's so much times I'm supposed to quit. You know, I, I've lost fights, too, you know, and it takes a toll on your mentality. Like, mm -hmm. so I see guys who lose fights and they never go back, you know, but like bro, I've lost fights and I and I always persevere to come back, you know, because what's a loss? You can't you can't you know you lose in life sometimes. It's okay, you know, but you, coming back makes you stronger. So yeah. you know, that's, that's why I want to be that uh, you know see it to believe it guy, you know. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people gotta see to believe, you know. It's crazy. I'll be that guy though, you know, <laughs> as long as I can, you know. <laughs> Time is ticking. But yeah, it's very demoralizing, you know, to, to your point, you know, when you have a losing streak mm -hmm. of like three, four, you're mm -hmm. like, fuck, you know, you start questioning yourself. Yeah, Am yeah. I in the right sport? Exactly. Am I in the right mind? Yeah. Uh, what did I do wrong? Yeah. And then, you know, you go down the rabbit hole. Yeah, but yeah. the fact that you came out of that yeah. wanting to continue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's that's a lot, bro. Yeah. That's inspiring, no, man. No, for sure. Because there's no in general in life mm -hmm. you can win them all yeah no and if you're going to give up after once or twice or three times it doesn't matter if it's in a fight yeah. if it's in real life yeah. it's if it's at work yeah. doesn't matter where it is mm -hmm. you cannot give up yeah, because no, giving up no. is for losers exactly you know that's true losing is not for losers no, giving no. up is for losers that's 100 percent. I, I, I agree 100 percent. 
So seeing you, man, that's inspiring, bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, always pushing, always pushing. Yeah, always, man. Always. Life, life is not. You know, people get get fed. You know, it's like easy stuff sometimes. You know, but yeah. some some guys get the hard road, like me. You know, but the hard road it, it builds you character, For and sure. um, also humbles you, so you understand that, like, you know, you are not bulletproof and you are not Superman. Yeah. You know, but you could you could try and come close. You know, but. Yeah, and it's, it's it's just all a humbling journey to be honest man because you know i could be this arrogant guy and whatnot but what i've gone through in life made me like this you know like i humble till i rumble and i'm a warrior <laughs> but, you know, like, i know i know what i'm capable of you know yeah. but it's like i don't gotta be like that you know yeah and you in this industry too you get judged a lot you know and, and people don't really understand like who people these fighters are you know a lot of these fighters are good people and we all have hearts and we have feelings and emotions that we go through and people just overlook that because of what they see on social media or you know like people think they know you because of social media and stuff like that you know it's like man you just gotta feel our hearts and you'd understand you know like for real people if, if people could get into other fighters shoes they i think they would view fighters way differently oh, way yeah. differently yeah for yeah. sure for they sure. see you as a fighter they don't see you as a human that human. has bills yeah. and as a <laughs> exactly. father that has exactly. kids yeah, and has exactly. to you know pull the, its weight yeah. and then your wife yeah. calls you can you pick up and you know you're <laughs> yeah. like yeah. they see you as a fighter as yeah. if this is all you do yeah. but this is part of you it's part of me exactly yeah but exactly. you have so many other things yeah. that you have to do as a just human as yeah. a father as a yeah. guy that gotta pay the bills exactly exactly yeah exactly. so you were mentioning before that you mm -hmm. also uh you you teach surfing yeah yeah i do i teach a bunch of surf lessons on maui you know my yeah. my friend he bought his or did he buy was his dad's or, or he my friend got blessed with owning a surf school on maui you know so we pretty much run the show there but the fires kind of affected that you know so mm -hmm. we kind of was put on hold and like i told him, i do i help with the tow truck business a dump run business man whatever i can do you know to be honest because i mean dog eat dog world man you yeah, know dog yeah. i'm here getting slapped for you guys <laughs> 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 Come on, man. <laughs> you know, that shows you, you know, like I'd do anything for my kids, man. So That's tremendous, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. That is tremendous. I can imagine you being like one of the uh, more seeked out surf instructors because your tattoos. Because your tattoos <laughs> solid, bro. Yeah, thank some, you, man. Thank killer you. Tattoos. I was like, oh, right. you imagine I want that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy knows what he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, He'll keep me safe. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sharks don't even like go by <laughs> him, bro. I'm, I want that guy. I slap the shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. How, how was it to do the transition actually from, you know, being an <laughs> MMA fighter, fighting in. You know, because as yeah. an MMA fighter, you have to incorporate it's it's mixed martial arts. Yeah, so you have the jujitsu, you mm -hmm. have the boxing, you have the stand up like Muay Thai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to combine between them. You have to have the takedowns, the wrestling. Yeah, and then you do the switch into slapping. To slapping, yeah. To me, MMA, like you said, there's so much you know foundations to make up MMA. Yeah. So now I have to just focus on one foundation, and that's slap. You know. And, so I just had to learn from the guys. I, I learned from the champs, actually, and I, I wanted to know the guys who are on top. What are you guys doing, you know? How do you train for this? This is new. Like, yeah. I know it's, yeah. people think, oh, I go up there and I slap this guy. To get, you yeah. got, you're about to get slapped, Lapped. too. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, so it, for me, like, even when I did the show, um, the reality TV show, when I was in the house and everything, I didn't know what to expect until it happened, you know. Cause oh, so wait, so you were on the show yeah. on the reality TV. Yeah. That was three weeks, right? Yeah, it was. I was, I was away. No phone. No kid. You can't talk to your kids. No, but no outside world. No, like no TV. No radio. Cause the uh, you know you can't have music. Cause copyrights and stuff. So wow. it was a quiet two, three weeks. Yeah, it was. It was crazy. <sighs> we were in a beautiful mansion in Las Vegas, but it was like. Man, you can't leave the premises, you know, yeah. you're here with these guys. It's like, it was crazy. It's, it was like the ultimate fighter, but for power slap. So, Jeez. and but just to compete every week, it was, oof, yeah. My first fight, like, I fought that, I told you, I had this tough Italian guy, man, and we, we rocked each other's brains, and then I had to fight next week. I was like, oh, man. Is that even enough time to recover? I like, don't, I don't think so, man, but, so like, you, if you, like, for me, I just, I just told him, I'm fine, you know. <laughs> yeah. How much fingers do you see? Yeah. I, I've. God, please tell me the right fingers. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy, you know. But 
So that like I got I did the show and that that got my ticket in. So now you know we we part of that industry. <laughs> so which is a uh, quickly it's blowing, blowing up. Industry. Oh, yeah, it's blowing up. That's why when I seen up. you make the shift, and I was yeah. like, wow, he's. He's yeah. sharp, this guy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, cause yeah, a lot of people were, were like, why, why, why? You're in Risen. Because I, I did the tryouts here on Oahu, actually, for Risen in Japan. And they picked me to um, to get the contract, you know? So I fought in Japan. And I, I left that to do parts. And people are like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? The, because Dana White is building this rocket ship. Yeah. You know, you guys, yeah. if you guys don't see that rocket ship, then you guys don't see it. But I do. Yeah. You know, so... Exactly. Once I made the transition, uh, I'm a competitor. And, and then being up there, like, to be honest, I didn't even know I had a chin like that. You know, <laughs> I knew I had a chin, but I didn't know like that. You know, so. And I still knocked on wood. I haven't got knocked out in my life. So, you know, we see we see if it happens, you know. Tune in. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a long line now, right there. You know, yeah. half, half of them want to see me get knocked out. Half of them want to see me win. So, we, you know, in the end of the day, I'll get, you know, get the job. <laughs> you know? Well, what does it really take? Because, you know, to, to, to slap. Man, know? to slap, I think, man, is the technique. And you just can't be sloppy. Like, to me, anybody could slap, you know. But to get slap is the whole, I think that's where it changes. Work. Because... I've seen some of the guys in the house that were athletes, like strong guys, and they're practicing hitting, hitting. Everybody's hitting, hitting, looking good, hitting. But I don't really see anybody working on defense, you know. And for me, I was thinking, well, I got to get my neck strong, my jaw strong. Mm. I, I chew on this thing called a jaw exercise, and bro, I, I just chew on it. And people in the house, are like, what are you chewing on? Like, and I don't see anybody else working on defense. Everybody working <laughs> on offense. So I'm like, man, guys are gonna go down. And I seen big, hefty, strong guys. Boom, Lose the coin flip and just convulting on the ground, you know, like <sighs> crazy. I, and I seen that before even I fought. And I'm like, wow, this is what's. I hope this doesn't happen to me, you know. So I figured I was like, okay, work on your defense because if you just like anything, football, anything, basketball. If you have a good defense, you're gonna have a higher chance of winning, you know. Yeah. So I was like, you know, work on your core, work on your neck and traps because you're gonna have to be stiff and you know, like. So I before even going to it, I just. You know, t told myself defense, defense, defense. Work on defense, defense, defense. Mm -hmm. So the, the offense will come, you know, like because I didn't get my knockout yet. I thought I was gonna get it in my last fight, but hopefully it'll be on the on the Hawaii card in front of everybody. You know, so <gasps> it'll be awesome, man. It'll be so awesome. That'll be super tremendous, yeah, man. I'm yeah. excited for that. Yeah, because Dana, Dana Dana White is ex is super stoked to bring it to Hawaii. He is. Cause they all want to come here, you know, see the luau and all that. <laughs> Does it, do you know by any chance if it needs the same kind of sanctions like MMA? Um, like, yeah, yeah. So do they have to yeah. still go through like the? Because yeah, that's the big yeah. issue with bringing uh, mixed martial arts. The UFC yeah. didn't want to do it because the state was taxing mm -hmm. an exorbitant amount of money to the point where you know it's like okay, what's well, pointless for the UFC to come yeah. because they're bringing money, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. and the state didn't want to do it. That's why I'm wondering, like, oh, do you need the same kind of thing for mm -hmm. a slap it's, competition? It's kinda, yeah, it's kind of, they're pretty strict with the sanctions and whatnot, but I, I heard they got passed here and, Ooh. you know, it's, it's going to happen, you know, so I can't say what date or anything because I really don't know, but yeah. it's going to happen, like, this year, like, soon, too, I think. Brah, that's <laughs> tremendous. There's so much Hawaii boys in slap. I know, I know. That's why it's gonna be a sick card, and I'm sure they'll they'll bring some guys, you know, some local brothers that who were down too, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm pretty some, sure it's gonna be a huge card, bro. Some homegrown hammers. Oh, of course. Some some famous uncles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They always looking for the big big boys, you know. You like, just gotta drop the last name yeah, versus last yeah. name. You know what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, the big yeah. time last name versus big time. Like, last I, name. I don't know if you guys remember Lolo Hea Mahe. Yes. Um, so I was that's my good friend, you know. I, I'm not, like you know uh, whatever. I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna bring him in, you know. So he's so, a, he's already a fan favorite already. Yeah, big island Have boy? you seen his hand? No, no, Maui. Maui. Yes, yeah. right. right. His hand is huge, you know. And he's a monster. You look at this guy, like I would not want to get slapped by this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's been in combat sports too. So and he's a knockout artist. So you know, when they tell me, you know, any big guys are scary. I was like, Fr I no one <laughs> scary guy. Bro. <laughs> So we see if we see if that goes through, but I believe that he could be in the car too as well, you know. So we'll see, man. Might be an all star of like old fighters that from before and new fighters that you know. It be an all star show and for entertainment for the Oahu, Oahu crowd, you know. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. huge, bro. You know, being an expert couch coach. 
<laughs> I have this idea, and I don't know if you like use them or not. Because yeah. being a couch coach, and I watch everybody, I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about growing one massive beard so to get harder time finding the spots? Oh yeah, trust, hey, trust me. If I I would, if I could, man. Oh. I cannot really grow a beard. You know, it's not that. It's not that. I don't know what it is. Indonesians kind of grow beard. I guess. Same for Filipinos, bro. That's yeah. all I can do. Yeah, it's like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same. That's the same uh, I could do too. I think. Because I always wonder if that's what like crazy Hawaiians thing was. Like I'm like, oh, I wonder if you keep that there, so yeah. they cannot see you hiding on steel plate yeah. underneath. <laughs> you know what I mean? I show them mine. Uh, I'll shave and yeah. show them mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no, but I think it's genius the fact that you actually worked on on uh, the defense because you're mm -hmm. right. Nobody thinks about that. No, Everybody no. has that, um, you know. Uh, macho mentality mm -hmm, oh mm -hmm. I'm gonna go slap yeah, the fuck up exactly yeah. but yeah bro you know you're gonna get slapped too <laughs> yeah yeah you yeah. know exactly. and then you're gonna and sometimes exactly. you flip the coin you're yeah. gonna first get slapped yep, yep, and after yep, you got slapped yep. then you yeah. slap so, that's another point too is uh, I seen a lot of guys mentality change when they saw the coin flip you know yeah. a lot of guys was yeah 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 and then they, they lost their coin flip they're like so I gotta get hit first, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, yeah, bro, you about to get whacked. Bro. Hard, too, hard. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it's a slap. I can eat a slap. It's not a slap, right? It's a bone. You feel this yeah. bone right? There's a bone right there. Okay, and just tap your chin. Yeah, just feel I, that. It's just you can. Th that this tells you a lot. Just going like this to yourself, and then a guy going as hard as he wants, you know, yeah. and you got to be hands behind your back. And you're just like this. Come on, bro. So, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> For real. So what, what goes through your head uh, after the first slap? After you get slapped? Uh, you know, and then man, so anticipating my first lap, even for this one, I, I looked at this guy and I, he was a pro boxer. Like I said, he's 16 and old pro boxer. So I knew this guy could hit, you know? So I was like, man, hopefully he doesn't uh, foul because a lot of boxers like to pivot their foot. And mm -hmm. he did, you know? So, like, I was hoping that he didn't knock me out by accident, and then I, I, I win, but he fouls, you know? Mm. So I was kind of nervous, and once, I, once he hit me and I realized, like, oh, wow, that's it? You know, I thought it was going to be worse, to be honest. But he hit me, I was like, fuck, that's it. Yo, you're fucked. That's yeah. like, I literally told him that, too. Like, I told him, you're fucked. I love this Wait, shit. Wait, that was on your last one? Uh, my first, my oh, first, first one, one in the house. And okay. I told him, I, I looked at him right in his face, and I said, you're fucked. And I said, <laughs> I love this shit. And I, I, from right then, I already knew I loved this shit, you know? Because it woke up like a sleeping monster inside of me, to be honest, you know? Yeah. That I didn't even know I had. Like I said, I knew I had a chin, but I didn't know it was like that. And now I can use it for entertainment, you know, and, yeah. you know, and the jobs, you know, support my kids. You know, I do whatever, man. I got to get whacked 2024 for views, whatever. <laughs> it's so be it, you know. And and to me, man, it's fun, too. It's, 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 it's it, like the whole th them picking you up. It's like like I've I've I went to a UFC fight before and I've cornered guys in the UFC before and. The same way they treat you, a UFC fighter, is the same way they treat Power Slap. They pick you up with the UFC guys, and they, they take you to the resort. They give you per diem. They take you know, they take you all over. They they treat you real professional. So that's what I'm very intrigued by because for, uh, I thought this is like slap crazy shit, but they're treating us like professionals, you know. And I'm like, this is cool, you know, this is cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, I like it because it's a combat sport you can digest. Um, quickly yeah you know what i mean yeah. like so you scroll you, mm -hmm. you look at an average instagram reel they only give you 90 seconds yeah um a, a whole entire slap competition mm -hmm. between two competitors yeah can be done in that yeah right real quick. clip 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 you can see clip. the whole thing yeah yeah and i think that's that's why it grew it grows it grew so quickly yeah, it gets millions yeah. and millions of yeah. views it's insane because it's so quick to digest yeah. you get straight to the Basically, kind of like you get straight to the orgasm. You know yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, right to yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. Suck, suck. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, Dana White said that it has his the reels of Power Slap has yeah. more views than the reels mm -hmm. of UFC. Yeah. Yeah. Not just that, than any sport in the world. Any sport yeah, in the world. Any sport in the world. They so, they they say NFL, NHL, NBA combined, it doesn't even have the views that. 
it has on power slap. Oh, fucking yeah. slap. Because anybody slap. can enjoy it. You yeah, know what I mean? Slap. And, and it almost feels... Um, it's crazy, man. Tom Brady was at my last power slap. You know? What? <laughs> right before I walked out, I see Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill gave me a dab, you know? I was like, you're Tyreek Hill. Is that? <laughs> I was like, was that Tyreek Hill? And then even, w- even when I was doing my slap, I looked back and I saw Forrest Griffin. I'm like, is this Forrest Griffin? <laughs> I was like, bro, you Forrest Griffin, bro. I was like, bro, I respect this shit. I can't believe you're right behind me. Yeah. And he's like, He's like, oh yeah. I was like, I was like, bro, you know, gotta catch me. I told him, no worry. He, he was there to catch me, and I was like, That's I was cool. like, bro, don't worry. You know, gotta catch me. I told him, step back, bro. Step back. I told him, but it was cool to just, you know, be around those kind of guys, and you know, it's crazy, man. Donald Cerrone cheering me on and stuff. It's for a power slap. Like, yeah. come on, man. It's, it's surreal to me, you know. It's it's, it's like, a, and it, it is humbling still, you know. It's yeah. crazy. People but it's are, blowing up, man. It is you, blowing Travis up. Scott was there in the Travis last Scott one. was there. Yeah. yeah, he was there. He was there. He walked in like after my fight, but he was there too. Yeah. It's blowing up. It's blowing up. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy it's to cra- to to think fast too, man. So quick. Do you think is it because of Dana or is it because of the actual hype or because uh, of I think the it's actual? both. I think it's a yeah. mixture of you know of what he's doing and he believed in it. He had a vision and look, look, his vision is coming to reality and it's like man. Yeah, it was a, it was blowing up like an underground thing for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then you know Dana, the master of marketing, yeah, he, took was, it, he sanctioned it. And said, okay, let's make he, this official. And deliver it to every single yeah. household in yeah. the world, you know? Yeah, he did, man. It's crazy. Because it was like a big thing that people would just go up to, like, festivals. And there'd be, yeah. like, 500 people yeah. hammered Slam. watching two guys Slaps. slap on stage. Yeah. And it's usually big guys. Big they usually dudes. take big yeah. guys because, yeah. yeah. you know, more fun watching when big guys yeah, fall. Yeah, exactly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, That's crazy. Godzilla's I actually enjoyed the two ladies. Right, the two girls oh, last time. Yeah, did you see that? No, crazy. you didn't cannot, watch it. I have a hard time. No, 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 no. The this lady one, one is crazy. 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 The last one you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. Right, the last one was she lost. Right. No, she knocked her out and lost. Oh yeah. Yeah. They, How they, come? They, they, they okay. said it was clubbing. Oh. Because it was they they got her right like in the neck and under here. You know you can't hit the neck and or under the chin. You gotta like. There's a spot in the face you only can hit like this. If you go way back, it's clubbing. If it's down low, it's clubbing. And the girl just went like a karate chop. Like, she just went, uh, and Ooh. then she went, pro. that girl went down. Yeah, bro, that girl. You should girl. see that one. That one's crazy. Not crazy. Bro. You gotta watch it. She was it. like this. Oh, like, uh, oh no. Uh, I just have my time with women, bro, yeah. watching them fight. It's just like, yeah. oh, man. You guys. Mm, I met her in person, vicious. too. She fights at 155. She's like a whole. Oh. And she's pretty and stocky girl, you know. I was like, dang. She's pretty nuts looking, bro. And mm. she, she, she's pretty <laughs> famous, too. And she just got slapped. Uh, the girl that did it to her fights Bellator too, so it shows that fighters will have an upper hand, I think, on this show. Because a lot of these guys, they're just regular workers, you know, like never fought. Like I was in the house, I was like, "You've never fought before." He's like, "No." <laughs> I, I mean, like you know, in the bars, like I'm like, "You've never did oh. like box. You never jujitsu." Some guys didn't have no combat experience. I'm like, why are you here, bro? You're gonna get hurt. <laughs> You're gonna get hurt, man. And then like, bro, the, the guys that I in the house that I thought were gonna get hurt got like wrecked, you know. So I'm like, bro. And then there's some guys that you meet that are in shape, and then you see them get wrecked. And I'm like, whoa, I'm in shape. I could get wrecked too, you know. Like, this sport is like a Russian roulette. Like any, you know. You don't know when that one yeah. gun is gonna get you, so it's like. So you think working oof. the neck, working the chin, oh, like yeah. working your uh, the oh, jaw, hundred yeah. percent. You want to be to me in this sport. You don't want to be flimsy at all. You want to be just like if you can practice flexing. That's what I do too. So like, giving all my secrets, but uh, <laughs> I that's, what I, that's what I do. I, I hold heavy weights. I hold really heavy weights, and I'll I'll do shrugs, and then I'll hold it. And longer than normal than I would normally just go like this I just hold it and just stay there mm-hmm. you know and I'll do other ones I'll hold it here stay there same thing I'll do squats sit down squats stay down you know go oh. back up just like do things slower because when you're to me man like, you just want to be a rock in there yeah. if you can be just a stiff rock that like, every you just, it'll bounce off you know so and I felt it you know shit like oh. I know, I know these guys can, it's just one little whack, you can go down, you know, yeah. right on the sweet spot too, so. So I, where is the sweet spot? Is it more like the jaw, like a, like man, a knockout no, punch? No, I've been hitting guys in the jaw, you know, I've been whacking guys in the jaw and like, and the cheek kind of too high, but I've seen the real knockouts is right on the tip of the chin. When you see the flick like that, guys go down, you know, but when the, the hard ones don't really, 
it just I don't know why but guys are eating that more like to the side like guys even try to turn their hand like this I try to go straight now because I want to just get the tip of your chin you know and yeah. I feel like like a flick your chin you're going down but because I was going hard like that and I would rock like the Italian guy I was going hard like this and I was just rocking him and I want to see them on the ground though you know yeah. so yeah. man it's crazy like we'll see I hope this Hawaii card I get on and I I mean I know I'm on but like I, I hope I knock somebody out in front of everybody you know That'd be get that nice. bonus checked you know because I, I feel they with give the, you extra you know oh if you knock them out if you knock them out you get a you get like a performance at a night like UFC yeah. and stuff yeah 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 you get fight at a night performance at a night so <sighs> man I know man that's why I need I need that extra you know come <laughs> on man and is the pay really that much better like oh yeah when, nice, when they nice. offered you to go in that that um, reality TV yeah. you were you were an MMA fighter yeah yeah you I were was, focusing on MMA yeah, you just I signed with this Risen, uh, Risen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they had to make it lucrative for you they yeah. did uh, Risen good thing I have good uh, relations with them you know and man to be honest the short amount of time I fought in Japan I had a, a big fan base now in Japan I didn't even really realize it was like that you know so like I, and even right now they want me back in Japan they want to see me kickbox in Japan on Risen yeah. mm. so we'll see I told them man I gotta see, t sit and talk with everybody power slap whatnot. Because I still, inside of me, wants to do MMA, you know? So, and I have some opportunities, you know? Even I just posted this video two, uh, two days ago of me missing MMA, and I have promoters hitting me up. Oh, you want to go back? I got you. Come back with me, you know? So, I'm like... I, it's, so, the opportunities are there, but I just got to... We just got to play it out. We just got to play it out. But is the money that good at slap? It is, yeah. It is. For power slap, it is. And it's only going to grow, honestly, yeah. you know. And if you can make it to the, to the like, holding the belts, they pay the champs, like, salary, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you don't even got to have a competition. You're getting paid every month, you know. So, that's where, honestly, I would love to get to. So, I could, you know, sit back and, you know, lay off of work a little bit. Spend time with my kids a little bit more. and. Mm -hmm. Cause man, I'm always hustling, hustling. Take the kids to school, go to work, you know, go yeah. train, you go, go work. Okay, you gotta go pick them up. Like, fuck. Yeah, it's like, crazy, man. You just you like know? be champion salary yeah. and shrug all yeah, day. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Hold those shrugs, man. Hold those fuck. shrugs. So yeah. Champ. <laughs> yeah. Champ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm shrugging, man. <laughs> That's the goal, man. But nah, we. I mean, with anything, you want to be financially stable, you know. So yeah. I mean. That's where my goal is with all this, you know. And I don't need I don't need a lot of money to be rich. I, I pay my rent and my kids can have a good time. That's rich for me, you mm -hmm. know, to be honest. So, so I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep working and not never give up. <laughs> never give yeah. up. Yeah. Never give up. Yeah. So w when, when you work on your um, offense, mm -hmm. are you just like, I saw you um, working on that mannequin. And yeah, just, that's probably the best one you can do because it gives you a, like a you know that's what his face looks like and that's yeah. what he'll be you know but um i i tough try to toughen my hand you hit the cement i had like a cement brick and i just go over and <laughs> over and over and over that or a steel pole anything like iron you put oil on your hands and you just pop 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 pop, pop. and i do both sides too because my last knockout for mma was with my left hand you know so i know i can whack with my left but i i'm scared to pivot because i'm so used to my overhand like that but yeah you see you know like to be honest man you just need strong wrists strong hands you know build those callus up on your freaking muscles you have muscles on your fingertips too you know so mm -hmm. work your if you can get that machine that goes like this that like web looking thing yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. helps a lot too you know and anything for jujitsu like grips you know like mountain climbing this is really like that's why I think I'm all right at Power Slap because I've been doing jiu-jitsu forever and I went from gi to no gi but always using my grips so my hands are strong from doing that, you know? Yeah. Power Slap, I could, I, could, I could get, I could take damage, you know, like, or give damage too, I believe, so. Yeah. It's like I said, you got to find that sweet spot. I haven't What's found that sweet class? spot yet. I fight at welterweight this one. Yeah. Okay. MMA though, I fought anywhere from... I fought anywhere from featherweight to 185. You know, oh. yeah. you know, I fought. I fought. I took fights on Oahu 170, four day notice. You know, for the belt X1, and I won. You know, so sometimes you just gotta take. You know, if life presents you challenges and opportunities, you just gotta take them. You know, you never know till you go. You know, where you know, so a lot of guys do get opportunities, but fear stops them. You know, and man, to me. 
I've been through so much in my life. What is fear? You know, it's yeah, illusion. You know, it's fake. Fear is. I don't even understand what fear is nowadays. You know, to me, it's just it's just bogus. Like, it's fake to me. Fear is fake. You know, because everybody goes through that emotion at least. You know, a lot of times in life, whether it's a being fearful of your your spouse being you know faithful, fearful of keeping a job or. You know, and just on the other side of that fear is blessings that you can't even see unless you let go of that fear. So I learned, like, if when I feel that fear feeling, I learn, okay, this is not real. Just let go of that feeling, you know. So, but then again, it's it's uh, the journey. That's how you learn about that, you know, to be honest. And it's crazy. So, what is one thing that happened to you that you can say that kind of minimized your fear? Oh, um, man witnessing my dad dying you know just just going through all that and being alone in that dark place and and then coming back from that and then having a new life with my kids and everything it just shows like man I, if I would have just fell into that fear I would have just probably end up in jail or you know mm. doubting myself and whatnot, you know and, and I let go of that fear and, and I started just to I turned fear into faith you know to be honest, I have faith tied right here, so that's pretty much what I did, you know. Just flip, flip it, you know. Turn, turn the switch on. You know? But it's easier said than done because no, I mean, th sure. the things that you're yeah. just saying right yeah. now, if any one of our viewers or our listeners mm -hmm. can implement in their life and yeah. understand that this is for real, yeah, yeah, that that's the biggest deed that we can do, you oh, know, yes, to yes. give it to our audience. Yes, but yes, what yes. is the trick, you know, like, because I mean, yes, you, you say it, but like mm -hmm. there has to be a way. I mean, it's not easy. No, it's definitely not because easy. to yeah. fall into that fear. It's just like maybe putting your back up against the wall. Sometimes, sometimes you got to get there or you got to hit rock bottom to yeah. feel what rock bottom is, you know? Yeah. And once you feel that and you like deep down inside, genuinely, you don't want to feel that no more. You're gonna do something about it. It's just like naturally. It's like, and then you figure out the ways to do it. And then when you figure out the ways to do it, you're grateful for figuring it out. And then, and then you know, you start meeting new people. Like once you, once I started switch my heart, it was like switching my heart around. Started meeting new people. I started getting opportunities. I started. I'm like, wow, this is always here for me. You know, all, all I had to do is let go of fear. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do that my whole life now. You know. Wow. Yeah. That's 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 so big that you can actually um, say it and put it in words, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I think this is what is all. This is what life is all about. Yeah. You know, yeah. to figure it out that yeah. fear will always be there. Mm -hmm. It will mm -hmm. always attack you. Yeah. At all kind of different ways. Yeah. All even during your day. Yeah. Yeah. And it's how yeah. you handle the fear. Exactly. How do you, how how you take it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's true. I, I think for me, you know, smoking weed. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you in in paranoia, you know, <laughs> fear, and so all kinds of situations. Uh, I don't know about me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. For me, no, it does. It brings anxiety for people. Yeah, so and then I when I, when I tell that. myself, oh easy it's yeah. just it's just a feeling yeah just like you said yeah. oh i can i can feel i can choose to feel the other way yeah yeah and then while i'm stoned i'm like ah, ah that's nothing yeah, yeah, you know yeah, like yeah. fuck focus yeah. on the good things yeah like oh, okay let's eat something yeah. <laughs> let's, have some fun. Let's, let's watch something that's and immediately true, i overcome that yeah. and then you look back and you're like without ah, even knowing you yeah, did it yeah yeah you're like yeah. ah, it was nothing yeah yeah, why would I? True. Why did I even take it so seriously? Yeah, yeah so exactly. I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really, it's you, have, really you have a choice. You know, you have a, you choice. Have a choice. Yeah, we all we all get we're all blessed with uh, decision making. You know, and that's that's the truth. And and some people just choose to decide the wrong thing. You know, and it's, man, you gotta like be at the right place at the right time, even with yourself. You know, yes, that's true. It's yes, true. keep up with your frequency. If not, that's gonna go away. You know, true. You gotta, you gotta be there with it. If not, that's gonna keep going, and you're gonna go a different direction. There yeah. goes your blessing. Now you gotta go work hard again for the next one. You know, it's really how it is. It's crazy. It's like if you've been through it, you kind of understand. But if you haven't been through it, it sounds weird what I'm saying. But like, you know, for me, I, f I experienced it. So it's like, I and I'm still experiencing it. Yeah. So, how much blessings I've lost? How much blessings I've gained? You know, me being there, me not being there. You know, mentally, like. It's crazy, man. So, like you said, it's the it's a lifelong journey. You know? Lifelong really, journey, it really is. Uh, really is. You ever thought about taking your kids back to the homeland? 
Oh no, they go. My daughter's yeah. been there three times. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son, I just wanted him to get a little bit older, you know. So maybe this year even we'll see. My mom wants to go back. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a, I, first of all, I had no mm-hmm. idea you're from Indonesia. Yeah, so that's just yeah, like I know. wow. I know. I know. people don't know that. But what I do notice about um, people from Hawaii, especially those that uh, were originally foreign to Hawaii, they yeah. find an easier time um, finding or they find a lot more not easier time more comfortable time getting the bag or or doing things outside of Hawaii yeah you know what I mean yeah. like for you you travel all over the world fighting yeah. yeah you know for many local people that's that would be very like oh I don't know bro like I you know like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what do you mean I gotta go to some foreign country yeah, and throw yeah. blows I don't even understand the language over here you know exactly man it's crazy man I fought even in Ireland you know it's crazy where this in journey. Ireland yes I was there the number one underdog uh, Patty the Batty, you know, he's actually big in the UFC now. We yeah. fought the same guys, and I, I, I beat this guy, um, and he watched our tape to beat that guy, you know. Wow. I, I, in, in, I saw, in his interview, I heard, uh, there was this tatted guy, that ta- this, tatted, <laughs> this tatted guy from Hawaii that just choked him out, nah. you know. And, and, uh, he was talking about me. I was yeah. like, oh, he's fucking, oh, he's seen that. Uh. Zach Zane, the name, <laughs> represent, bro. Hell yeah. Next time, uh, say the name, bro. <laughs> What's cool about that car too is uh, Conor McGregor was there. He watched me fight. No yeah. shit. Yeah, so right before me, his his teammate Francis Palumbo Malumbo fought right before me, and he stayed out right there because he wanted cause the kid that I was fighting had a lot of hype. He even he, he looked like Conor, you know. So I and he never been finished, and he fought a lot of UFC guys and stuff. And I ended up finishing him in the second round, I believe. And yeah, man, that was huge. It was it was just a surreal, wow. another surreal moment just seeing because I. I, at the time, Connor was huge, you know. Yeah. I'm like, this guy is here, gonna watch me fight. That's crazy. I mean, it makes sense. We're in Ireland, but shit, like, what are the odds? I thought, you yeah. know. But yeah, man, it's crazy. This journey is just like, f- even from fighting, I got to be in a movie, you know, acted in a movie. It's just that that I wouldn't never happen if I didn't fight, you know. So which movie? I was in the uh, Paradise City with Bruce Willis and uh, John Travolta. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. The, so I was just supposed to be a. Um, I was supposed to be an extra, yeah, and uh, I was cruising on the side, and the director walked past me. He's like, he said, "What are you?" He's like, "What are you? Why are you here?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just, just, just an extra, you know." And he's like, "Are you an actor?" I just, booked. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm an actor." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, really?" He's like, "He's like, I could use you in a scene." And I was like, "Oh, yeah." He's like, "He's like, he's like, he's, tell, he's, he's read this to me," and like, like you know, read it to me. And he, I read it, and he's like, "All right," put it behind his back. He's like, "Read it again." And I was like, what the fuck? I was stoned. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. I was like, please remember. And I somehow remember the line, bro. And he was like, hired, hired. So I went from having just a, a extra pay to having an actor pay. Nice. Just, just like that. Like, in a, like, really. I was like, wow. And I vocally was acting with this guy I watched growing up. I'm just like, this is insane. You know? Yo, that is insane, this, yeah. bro. You're like, you guys should watch the movie. It's a Paradise City. It's a good movie, man. It's pretty sick. John Travolta tries to take over the islands, you know. <laughs> that's crazy you it's the last movie them two was together before Bruce Willis had all time yeah. all time yeah you know it's crazy bro. wow yeah. <laughs> I did yeah. not know that's that that's legendary too. I didn't yeah. know that yeah. too I, I grew up watching them you know so it's crazy to act with them right you gotta update your Wikipedia bro. I know yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta get an IMDB yeah. ASAP yeah, bro. I know <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy bro. Oh. that's all from fighting you know so it's crazy shit man I, I would rather do movies because I don't got to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm over here getting slapped. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I gotta, <laughs> let's do some acting, man. That's cool. <laughs> that is. Yeah. That's tremendous, bro. Yeah, you check you, that check that one out. Wow. You, so you, you, get put, what, is, you, you get put into these uh, fights often against, like, hype trains? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. man. My last, my last little, I had some spills because I was taking fights for... Um, I shouldn't have done it, but I was taking fights for money, you know. And that's honestly, man, as a fighter, as like, man, that was like my mistake. Because when you take fights for money, your heart's not in the right place, you know. Mm-hmm. You start thinking, uh, yeah, it was just what I was going through at the time, you know. Personally, yeah. I was going through a breakup, and it was just bad. And I was getting these big fights from Khabib. Uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov was, you know, his team was hitting me up to fight these freaking crazy Russian guys. <laughs> They wanted me to fly to Kazakhstan, and I, I had a main event in Kazakhstan, and uh, but I, I had to. You had up. a main event in Kazakhstan. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. Kazakhstan, up up in the mountain somewhere. No, but I got hurt, so that didn't happen. So their show from Kazakhstan came to Miami, so they flew me out to Miami instead, and I fought uh, 
Mamedov, uh, Loic, Rangmom Lachar Fashlam, like uh, <laughs> some fucking the first the first guy I fought ten day notice, but this guy was roided to the gills. You know, oh, <laughs> you know, shit. like nobody in the, nobody in the state would fight him. Like they couldn't fight a guy, and then. So I took the fight. Khabib took care of me, you know. Khabib and his brother personally was like, "Hey, brother, you got fucking balls!" Like, <laughs> and he's like, "You, you, you." And that's when I was coming off a big. Uh, I just knocked out Steven Seiler in Utah, you know, and he's a Ultimate Fighter winner, PFL yeah. finalist, and I knocked him out in five seconds. So that's kind of what got me that fight. Yeah. But even nobody wanted to fight this guy, you know. And I'm like, you know what? I told him, brother, I have two kids. I told Khabib, if you guys take care of me, I take this fight. He said, brother, we take care of you. And I was like, fuck, what does that mean? <laughs> you yeah, know, he, yeah, I, yeah, he yeah. just said, we take care of you. So I just took his word of we take care of you. And that's yeah. probably like, bro, I got paid real good for that fight. Like, man, I can't. Oh. Like, it was, it was a blessing to even fight, get that fight. And then they called me again. And I was like, what? The, the next time it was only like four day noted, three day. I, I was taking shots, oh. drinking with my boys. We just got done fishing, have a good time. Next thing I get a phone call. I think it was like a Tuesday. They said, can you be here on Friday? And I was like, Friday? This Friday? Or when, when Friday? They said, yeah, this Friday. And I was like, what? I was like, how, how much? We take care of you. That's all they say. We take care of you. <laughs> okay. I was like, fuck. Who am I going to fight? And then they said uh, something more mad off. I was like, shit, that's a real motherfucker, bro. You know, like, fuck. Let's do it. Yeah. Like, you know, fuck, whatever, you know. I no made, fear. I mean, no fear. No fear. Just yeah. like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have took those fights because I got the L's now, but... You know, but I showed them, and I kind of showed the world that, you know, frick, I don't have fear, and I am game, you know, yeah. and, and I am down. These are one of the best guys in the world, you know. Loic, well, he fought for the PFL finals two years in a row, and he's just a roided machine, you know. And then Mamedov is what he beat freaking every like, that's no Khabib's cousin. Come on, yeah. you know, like, get real, bro. Like, it, like, when I was there, it was Khabib was in his corner, like, so... To me, it was it's still surreal to even go through that and all that. But like I said, everything I gone through makes me so. And just having the fighting those guys, I already have so much confidence. Like, like I don't give a f- like who am I gonna fight that looks like Loic? Like, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you guys look up this guy. He's gonna fight UFC this weekend, right? You guys look up this guy. He's a monster. Bro. He's a monster. Bro, that's tremendous. The monster. kind of relationships you have, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, you're right. having conversations you with fight, Khabib. Yeah, and you like, fight and you make these, you make these relationships, and that's that's really what what I want to do. Kind of now that ending, ending part of my career, I want to meet a lot of people and and show them my heart, and yeah. you know, hopefully it gravitates to them. And next thing we working together, something happens, you know. So, and um, that's how it works, you know. I'm sure, that'll happen. Web out, you know. <laughs> Tremendous, bro. Yeah. A boy no Khabib, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Right? No, That's for funny. sure. And his brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his but bro- it says a lot about you, to be honest with you. You yeah, know, yeah. The, um, it, it goes back to the fact that you, you don't have fear. You respect all. Yeah. You fear none. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, I respect that- everybody. Straight up. Uh, and Everybody that, got mommy and daddy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like I said, we all go through emotions. So how am I going to hate on anybody, you know? Yeah. I used to be an arrogant kid, maybe, but man, once I realized life and we're, we're all kind of similar, different times we would go through different emotions, but it's the same. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why are you going to hate on anybody, you know? Especially when they're doing the same business. Like, I'm not a hater, you know? I'm just naturally not a hater. So it's like, when I see guys hating and stuff, I just cannot, I can't even cruise with those kind of people, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I can't hang out with people who, who gossip a lot or, yeah. you know, talk down on people. I'm yeah. Like, who are you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You're not God. Like. It's crazy. You yeah. know, I think, like, once you once you pass the 30, mm-hmm. you, you start to appreciate. Like, before 30, mm-hmm. you, like, you are gravitate to those who make, like, to bullies, who yeah, make out yeah, of feel, yeah, like, yeah, small. Yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, this guy's cool. Yeah. yeah, he's, like, the shit. Once you pass the 30, you like, who the fuck is this guy exactly. making everybody feel bad? That's yeah. true. That's and then true. you gravitate to the people that making people feel good yeah. and elevate yeah. others. Yeah. Exactly. And then by the time you're after 35, you're like, oh, this guy is so cool. He elevates everybody. Mm-hmm. He gives. He ta- You know, yeah. he's yeah. not just take, take, mm-hmm. take. Mm-hmm. He yeah. give, give, give. And yeah. then you start to appreciate. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a, I, th- I think it's, you know, it's a, the evolution mm-hmm. of ourselves in our yeah. journey yeah. where we see what matters yeah, you know that's true, that's true. and then where you put the emphasis on mm-hmm. oh yeah this guy is legit because he helps yeah. because mm-hmm. he's like the real deal yeah, I don't yeah. care if he lost he won mm-hmm. it cares what 
you know, he has yeah. a heart. He has a heart. Know? Yeah, yeah. They that say tells a lot take... about, about, about people if you have a heart. You know? Yeah. Some yeah. people do stuff and they don't have a heart. You know, yeah. and man, yeah. And it's, it's it's easy to catch on too. Who has one? Who has? Who doesn't? You know. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, man. It's amazing stuff. Bro. Yeah. At this time of 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 our age, you know, we we see through everybody. Yeah. You, know? you cannot yeah. fool us yeah, with all you kind. Fool, yeah. yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I see. If you have good intentions and you exactly. have aloha, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I see you. You mm-hmm. want. You know, wanna be? You just like <laughs> yeah. try, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Fuck, Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. I don't have time. I don't have exactly, patience, and I don't exactly. have any, you know, um, uh, amph. You know, yeah. I, I just don't. I cannot have yeah. people that are just bad energy yeah. and yeah. just want to do bad to others. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't have any more time. Yeah. Back in the day, I'm like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Now it is. <laughs> Fuck this yeah. guy. Yeah. Take <laughs> this guy out of yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shoes, bro. Yeah, shoes, bro. Yeah. No need. No need. No need. That's it's true. all about the good vibes. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. yeah. But talking about. Um, vibes. Let's talk about Maui a little bit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we never had anybody except. I mean, we had this guy Joe Kent from uh, Lahaina Luna that was talking a little bit about Maui, mm-hmm. but we never had anybody from Maui after the fires that actually talks about Maui. Yeah. And you know, it's really important for uh, uh, Steezy and myself mm-hmm. to understand what's really going on because I think we kind of fed off of the uh, IG and whatever is on social media mm-hmm. and some stuff but what is the real deal right now on Maui as a Maui uh, 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 living on Maui what mm-hmm. do you feel about what's going on right now oh man uh, sad you know sad and you feel um, you just feel for everybody in Lahaina you know I have a lot of friends and family man lost everything like literally no joke everything you know a lot of people they they all their whole lives they saved up money to have that house that they paid so long for to and then they got it and now it's gone you know and that's a lot of people like that you know and then you have my friends uh who are renting in places there you know and all their stuff is gone and and just just seeing how they treat they're treating them is just like like animals you know like like yeah we don't even care kind you know Here's here's seven hundred bucks. Like what is that? What the fuck? You fuck? know, come on. You know, like seven hundred bucks. You can pay your phone bill like for three months. Like come on, bro. This this is serious shit. You're giving all these other countries millions and billions of dollars. You could easily help Maui easily. You know, so it's sad, man. Because I work on that side of the island even right now, and they opened it up. You know, so I drive past the war zone. I call it the war zone. It looks like a war zone. Like literally looks like Call of Duty. Like burnt. Like just like it's not. I'm not even over exaggerating. Like it's gone. The whole city is gone. Like completely gone. Not one. Like it's crazy to see it. You know, I grew up on Maui and I surfed there. I worked there. I partied there. I had good birthdays there. You know, to see it completely gone is so sad. And people's jobs and yeah. Where were you when it yeah. all when it all went down? I was actually a power slap. Actually, my first power slap. Yeah. In so I was Vegas. in Vegas. I woke up. I woke up fight day and I saw that. What the oh fuck? God. Can't believe that was real. I just I thought of my kids because I, my kid, my son lives in Kihei, and I heard there was fire on the south side, and there was fires up country. We live up country. I'm like, oh man, what's going on? This is real or what the fuck? And it was real, and it was like fuck a nightmare. Like, Were you able to call them? Yeah, I mean time? after afterwards, yeah, yeah. But still, it's just crazy to wake up to that. You know, it's like yeah. like a horror movie, but it was real. You know, and then you see it right. I, I drive past it, and it's like. Uh, the, the, people just drive past it like like it's nothing. All the tourists just like oh, you, like, you guys don't see this, you know? Like you literally it's a one way road, so you're gonna have to see it. You know, you yeah. cannot not see it even if you don't want to. Like it's crazy, and then you pass by all the crosses and all that. Like it's just it's crazy, man. It's like a war zone. You pass it, and then boom, there's a whole strip of tourism. That's you know, Kanapali yeah. is called, and it's like they, they don't even care. Like it's like you know, just just come, you know, tourists come, come, come. <laughs> that's yeah. that's the weird conundrum of it all, yeah. yeah. Like, and they try to say that the state is held up by tourism, yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's whole. Yeah, I know. True. Uh, I just, know? I just think it's too soon. Like personally, I think it's too soon. You know, like people just went lost their shit. Like you guys are gonna fucking open it up, right? Yeah. 
But who am I to say anything? But still, like, there is. What do you mean, who am I? You are the fucking yeah, local. Yeah, you are you, the guy. That's true. You that's are true. the guy. Thank you, thank you. you need to say, yeah, not them. I know. Man. You need to say yeah. if it's the right time. And and the people who's taking care of us is not even from Hawaii, you know? So yeah. it's like, they don't care. In, re- in reality, they don't care. Everything's for money. You let know, me let, let me tell you one thing. Week, and this is just out of uh, yeah. uh, uh, my point of view. Mm-hmm. I'm not from Maui, yeah. but for me, after uh, for me, it felt like you know how it was one month or two months, yeah. no tourists, right? And then they said, okay, so we decided that the best way would be for the island is to open up open again. Up, yeah. <laughs> so let's bring him back, and everybody, let's go, let's go back to work, yeah. let's go back to work. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah, wipe the tears, yeah. wipe the tears. The tourists are coming. Yeah, exactly, uh, that's how. That's, that's the best that's, for the island. And then was, everybody, man. they lost people, lost friends, yeah. lost uh, 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 relatives, yeah. lost the house, lost mm-hmm. business, or even just know someone that yeah. lost everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They have to be now all aloha. Yeah. And be happy yeah. and accommodating and customer service and I don't know. It, it, it feels so. It, it feels. Not okay. It, it, it yeah, feels it, it isn't. You know, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not for, right. At least for know? the west side, you know what I mean? Because like, yeah, for the west side, exactly. A lot of people on the rest of Maui, they still have jobs and exactly. houses. Yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah. When you look at the other parts of Maui, they didn't get affected. Yeah. there's still plenty of residents who you know worked at hotels yeah. and needed. You know, they're like, well, no, well, well wait, wait now, because yeah. I understand they're hurting, right? Yeah. Like yeah. they lost everything. Doesn't mean everybody has to lose everything. Yeah, true. You know, so true. there was a lot of people in other parts of Maui that was like, you know, yeah. what, we still work in other places. You may stay away from Lahaina, yeah. but come out to our side. You know, yeah. we we pump in still, and it's okay. Just stay away from Lahaina. The only know? reason why Lahaina is open is because of Kanapali. Yeah, you know? it's that tourism strip. It's like another Waikiki right there. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's the only reason. Oh, if so they never crazy. have Kanapali, it wouldn't. They would be like, oh, no, just, okay, well, Lahaina closed. Go to Kihe. Yeah. Go to North Shore. Oh shit! Sorry. Nice. Go to North Shore. You know, like there's the whole other island, like yeah. the rest of the island. You don't gotta go to Lahaina, you know. Yeah. And this, dr- 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 you know, it's a tragedy just happened. You guys are just gonna, like you said, oh, open up. Okay, you guys, wipe those tears. You yeah. Know? The big, back to work. The big issue you right know? now, I believe, is the um, they're trying to find housing for everybody and yeah. realize that a lot of places are Airbnb. Yeah, I mean that too. You guys should see what they're building them. It's like, are you kidding me? They're building. They, they pick the most hottest spot on Maui, like right on the side of the highway, and it's like it looks like honestly like homeless houses, like how they make it. Just little box huts that they fold open, and then they build a little patio or something. Like you know, you oh. think they people want to leave leave Lahaina to come live here with this little neighborhood you guys are making out of plastic boxes? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Right? It's ridiculous. I drive past that every day too. I'm just like shake my head, you know. I'm just what the heck? every time I drop off my kids at school, I have to pass by where they're building that place for the people, the fires. It's on dirt, you know. It's ridiculous. It's like it's man. I can't believe that's where they picked to do it. This is yeah. man. I wish I wish I wish I had all the money in the world to help. I would, you know. <laughs> Same here. Sure, a lot of people would too. But a know? lot of people are, and uh, yeah. that's a, that's the one thing I could, we got to see from the world, <laughs> like how much. Even though they're not involved, they're not even from here yeah. or even live here. How yeah. much they try to help, bro! Yeah. Everywhere from as big as the Dana yeah, White, that's true. right? When yeah. with a full Mayweather too, yeah. Mayweather, mm-hmm. um, guys that have nothing to do with Maui yeah. don't even have a home there, and right? it was just mm-hmm. like, hey, it, something's bad. Let's help out, bro. Yeah. I, I found a small business. There's a small business that mm-hmm. listens to my radio show every morning um, in LA. They're called Dem Nuts, and they uh-huh. literally are. A, what, husband and wife they bake nuts in their kitchen sell them at like oh, swap no. meets and pop ups okay they came down here popped up at uh, swap meet um, brought out all their product sold whatever they brought yeah fucking gave all of it to help Maui wow, Rise bro that's so cool it was like like $2,700 so cool. bro just to come help wow. they came sold everything they didn't take home a dime they actually lost money because they paid the flight paid yeah. the hotel they rented the space wow. sent everything over just cause they you know it's just yeah. a human experience yeah. to see some somebody hurt and yeah. you're doing whatever you can yeah. and that's yeah. that I think we got to experience a lot of good in humanity no for sure through community this, you know? coming together and whatnot. Yeah. you know cause when I came back from Power Slap um, like I said I run the dump business too we, we took our dump trucks and filled it up with 
all kinds of shit. And they, we had police escort in. And so we got to see everything like right after, you know, wow. you could smell burnt. Like, you, like you, if you went to the Filipino houses when they burnt the goat, yeah, it smells like that. But like times a hundred, like unreal. The smell was weird. The energy was weird. Just passing it. Eerie. The smoke still in the air, you know, like it, it was crazy, man. We, and uh, I, like I, I was grateful to even go in there to help as whatever I could do, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, even if it's just distributing items for these people, then you see them sleeping in the tents and like pop up. Like back then it was in that they had these little like uh, camps, you know, and you see the kids. That's what got me because oh, when I seen the little kids, like oh, each they look, there's so much people look sad. It was sad. Even the guys that would come and get the stuff from us, they just look sad. Just like, you know, just it was sad. I just, I couldn't even can't even fathom that what they some of the people went through but like just seeing this grown man like that i was like man and then seeing the kids like that i was like this is not right yeah. it's not right not right man. how is the situation right now man it's it's still like honestly it's weird because it's everything's open you know so it's weird there's traffic every day because of the tourists now get to work i have to leave early leave to go pick up my kids I gotta go early the traffic is bad you know and like now they have like tourists that there ha- there's incidents of tourism going with the locals because man they're not showing aloha you know they come here they think they're just privileged because oh we bought a ticket you know yeah. we paid for this at this much you know like I, I could be here you know and that's that's a lot of people are treating it like that some tourists but there is some nice tourists that come and they have genuine hearts and they know that's pretty fucked up what happened but they're still here they want to have a good time you know so it's weird man it's, it's just a weird time right now in Maui I just people that are affected I still feel for them and even the whole time at the house um, the reality TV show I just was fighting for them to be honest you know because I that happened now I'm here all these guys in Lahaina had to eat 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 it you know so I'm like fuck I'm gonna eat every shot too yeah. right? <laughs> and then I want to bring entertainment or any kind of joy or anything that take their mind away f- just for five minutes or, yeah. or even if it's t- two minutes you know even if you stop thinking of that you watch me get slapped you know <laughs> yeah, for real yeah. so I was like man I, I really hope these guys are watching me and I really hope they can see that I do have passion and love for Maui and you know that's where I was raised and that's where I'm rooted you know like literally I'm I'm, I'm a Maui boy you know I, I'm fucking I'm from Hawaii, you know, like when I tell people, like, and, and I am. So and when I, I brought that with me in the house and it, it prevailed, you know, fucking Maui spirit was in me and, and I won the show, you know, so yeah. it was cool, man. It's cool. I just hope, I hope Maui does get, they are getting stronger. I know Maui's getting strong. I know you guys oh, don't yeah. give up. Bro, so, yeah, we see, man. We see a time, only time will tell, you know, you know, they want to make a smart city and all this crazy talk. So. You know, we see. I just pray that Maui deserves what they get. Well, know, right after the fires, there were so many um, um, conspiracies. Yeah. So many. Yeah, a lot, you know. You know, a thousand people are missing. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lasers from the kids missing. Uh, and kids all, missing. Yeah, and all that. So, you know, it kind of, I don't know if it's good or bad, you know, because mm-hmm. on one hand, like, oh, yeah, we're like, throw everything out there mm-hmm. let's sort through the the, the rubbish and mm-hmm. let's see what's real and what's not real yeah. but on the other hand people are like ah that's all like rubbish mm-hmm. all rubbish mm-hmm. even the real things mm-hmm. they put as rubbish mm-hmm. it's like ah it's not yeah. and then everybody went on with their lives mm-hmm. like if you look at Oahu Big Island mm-hmm. Kauai mm-hmm. everybody's just went on with their lives oh yeah and yeah. the whole weight stayed on Maui yeah. and not that nobody cares anymore, but it's just not on the topic it's anymore. Not on the radar yeah, it's anymore. It's just not yeah, on the yeah. radar. It's not just mean. like top of the, yeah. you know what I mean? It's one year out the other almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and, it, and it saddens me because <laughs> because if we not as a community, yeah. yeah, we have water, you know, between us, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. between each island. Yeah. There's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah. But we're all together. Yeah. And when it happened, we all wanted to be there mm-hmm. and we all, you know, but then... A month passes by, mm-hmm. two months, mm-hmm. and then everybody goes back to their yeah, normal life. Yeah. And then Maui stays with all their its yeah, problems all the and burdens. all its yeah. burdens yeah. and challenges. Yeah. I just saw this one girl. Mm-hmm. Um, she she did a um, uh, she did a story, and she's like, I just got kicked out 
Because yeah. my landlord wants to get the kind, yeah, wants to get the, the FEMA. The FEMA. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. They're and the doing FEMA that was too. supposed to be only for short term. Yeah, but now they're doing long term. But yeah. but, but they not supposed to. Yeah, but like, oh, she got kicked yeah. out because this guy like, why would I keep this this yeah. young lady if I can uh-huh. get like fucking I don't know three thousand yeah. dollars from FEMA? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's all money, man. It's all money, you know. It's and stuff. and this this drives me changing nuts. everybody over there. It's crazy. Yeah. Even flying here, I just I met a guy who who does uh, insurance claims. I'm like, bro, you're nuts, bro. You coming over here for my Maui? He's like, I was like, oh, cool man, cool job, you know. I was like, I don't even want. He's trying to. That, those kind of guys are just asking people like, oh, you want insurance for your house? You want to get? You want to sell it? You know. He's one of those guys. I was like, oh, I can't believe you even told me what you do. I was yeah. like, cool, bro. We should, we should experience yeah, each know. other's work for exactly. five minutes. Yeah, I know. Like, teach you, me about yeah. insurance claims, and I'll teach you. You get slapped. About power <laughs> slap. <laughs> I was thinking in my head, this guy deserves a slap. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, this guy is oh, crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy how people see, you know, see yeah. a disaster, and then they see like, oh. I can make money. They think opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah, it's course. the last thing yeah. that you should think of exactly. when you see this kind of stuff. Yeah. The last thing. Yeah. There's a long list of things that mm-hmm. you need to look at. Yeah. Opportunity is the last thing. Last. So what can you make out of this? Yeah. So if they, you they, don't have heart, thinking. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But if you have heart. Cold heart, you, motherfucker. No way. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's crazy shit. I mean, those are families that lost everything. Yeah. And you need yeah. to be there to, I don't know. It's just kids died, you know. Yeah. How much? How, it was summertime. Like, you you leave your kids to go to Costco and come back. Your kids are gone. You know. You know how a lot of that happened. You yeah. Know? And they don't talk about, it, but a lot of it happened. I know a lot of people that that happened to. So it's like, fuck. It's so sad. And my friend went there right after, saw all the dead bodies with his dirt bike, try to help people. Like, bro, just the shit that he was describing me as already like horrific. You know, like, and that's real life, right yeah. in Lahaina. You yeah. know, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's a scary movie that happened for real. Yeah. Uh, like you said, all the conspiracies, we we don't even know what's true or not nowadays. Man. It's crazy. But community is very important, and I think that's why yeah. Yeah. staying in touch with people mm-hmm. like yourself mm-hmm. or like anybody who's involved with the day-to-day things in Lahaina yeah. is extremely important if you really want to help. Like, yeah. They're there. Like mm-hmm. They're there every day trying to figure life out. And... um. You know, they even have, they went with this bright idea of how to raise funds was, there was a Venmo, uh, Instagram with everybody's Venmo, oh, right? Uh, so yeah, they went yeah, around and it, are you a victim of this? Okay, uh-huh. let me just get your info um, and let's post up mm-hmm. and have a specific link. And if people want to donate to you directly, mm-hmm. we don't have to go through any hoops. We don't need we to use a Red Cross straight, or yeah. FEMA. Yeah, just send it directly. And that's like mm-hmm. genuine aloha right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. get straight to the people. Okay, yeah. what if it's $10, $20, at least no middleman's involved. Yeah. It's straight there. Okay, straight to you. that'll help yeah. tons. You know, And I think that was the most brightest thing that as a community yeah. that they had come up with for everyone yeah. to help share, you know? Yeah. Even when I was doing those runs, man, I, we came across this couple that was just, uh, they're from the mainland, but they lived, they moved to Maui, you know, recently or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they had a lot of aloha and they was just giving families grants. Thousand, 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 thousand you know? They had an envelope and they were, right, this is your family? Here, boom. This is your family? Boom. Oh, chicken yeah. skin. See, like... Crazy, you know? And it's crazy how... Like, I know we keep bringing up, like... um you know what's wrong and i keep trying to think of what's right because mm-hmm. like you're saying you know you're saying earlier right mm-hmm. think of all the blessings and yeah. whatever mm-hmm. that just gave me super chicken skin yeah. thinking about how they're newcomers and yeah. we always quick to be like ah fucking holy yeah. back over here again exactly. but you know p- they can yeah. come and assimilate oh, and like yeah. understand like okay yeah. this is what i can do yeah i'll do this much they, they had aloha without even knowing it yeah because you know they, they just it's natural like okay yeah. you know they might not be the best at you know, cleaning up a mess mm-hmm, or even the mm-hmm. best construction mm-hmm, workers or don't mm-hmm. have big vehicles, but shit, we got shit tons of money. Yeah. Fuck, give them out. <laughs> they need help yeah. there. They need help yeah. there. Yeah. And went straight to the source. They didn't have to use yeah. some back end, no. you know, PR stuff. They went, they went yeah. straight to the HUS and the, 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 that couple did. I, they seen it. They, they oh, did it. So so God bless them. You know, that's yeah. awesome. You know, when you say PR stunt, you know, for me, the, the second phase of this disgusting situation was mm-hmm. people trying to leverage for social media or for oh, yeah. for you know like a stunt for real mm-hmm. like a stunt mm-hmm. yeah. you know um 
oh you give us mm-hmm. and then we will get it there yeah. you know yeah. and then you like okay well will you be the one like saying oh we donated you know so yeah. and so yeah. <laughs> we have a container full of food where, this, where does the donation you didn't even go? Yeah, yeah. yeah where f- a where does it come from yeah. is it from you no mm-hmm. it's like 50 other people that donated mm-hmm. why don't mm-hmm. you tell them you know oh it's a it's a collective you know from oahu supporting you know mm-hmm. don't be like that big company oh yeah yeah, yeah it's mm-hmm. all us yeah so and so company you know yeah. it's it's a collective and maui should know it's not a brand it's 50 families it's 50 people so you know what i did i went on amazon i went on google i went to look at the address of the red cross found out the address and then went to amazon and just ordered twelve thousand dollars worth of food mm-hmm. spam mainly and send it directly to them because i didn't rely on shout out to Outrigger mm-hmm. um, or any one of them big brands that mm-hmm. said oh just give it to yeah, us yeah, we'll yeah. take care of it yeah, yeah. because I didn't want I didn't want to have anybody capitalizing yeah. Yeah. on the clout on the no, on the you know what true. I mean yeah, I just wanted to get to the actual people without anybody getting yeah. any credit for anything yeah but that's just another thing good too deed. That, I, that I saw on Maui when all that shit was happening is they would have a lot of shit and it would just they, it would just be they didn't even give it to Lahaina. It would be in Kahului, and Kahului is like in the central of Maui. Mm-hmm. And you could we drive past every day, and they still didn't give it. The water in the hot sun, oh. food in the hot sun, just just like like you know, like what? How come you guys didn't bring this yet? You know what I mean? For like weeks, it's just there, you know. And it's it's just crazy the the shit that they had to do they said there's uh, procedures to get it to the people in the high end so, no, it's not there's a lot of shit yeah, you guys pick just it went. up move it yeah, that's yeah, the procedure exactly, bro. Like, exactly you know the fuck? it was crazy man because they had a lot of shit and it was just sitting there like you know and you just drive past it right there on the side of the road you could see everything like fuck. i think that the, they weren't the, hiding it either you know the, the most uh, um inspiring thing that happened though is to see the community step up for each other oh yeah they did more than anything <sighs> anyway than anybody yeah anybody. Was community yeah that was inspiring yeah. to see boats yeah, fucking boats, jet skis f- jet skis even planes little planes yeah. everybody <laughs> did everybody got to came together yeah man. yeah, yeah. shout it's out cool. to uh, uh ceo of maui brewing company uh Garrett Marrero who nice. has his own uh uh airplane oh, nice. and he flew shit all day That's not one so time cool. not two times not all day That's all awesome. day all day back and God forth back you, and man. forth back and forth That's I'm like awesome. uh-huh so that's the way to do it yeah you know that's you, the, that is the way to do and it and he didn't know? tell anybody yeah. yeah only if you know him yeah. then you oh why you are you so busy oh i'm just here in the middle of a, i'm just yeah. flying some yeah. shit over <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, but he okay, didn't crazy. he didn't do it for the clout yeah, he, he didn't did do it for it for, for he did it genuinely yeah. genuinely yeah. just to help that's so cool but this guy has like 60 80 employees wow. so of course he only cares about his people yeah you know what i mean yeah. and then you see it coming through but when people just you know, just you you could really differentiate between the people that do it for the love yeah. and the aloha, and yeah. the people that just doing it for the clout. Yeah, you know? there oh, was a lot. There it. was a lot of musicians too that started making Lahaina music. Like you guys, name from Lahaina. You guys <laughs> from Maui. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, cool, but you're just getting that clout. You know, and you know what it was because anybody at the time who would post anything of Lahaina or anything, it would just be yeah, you know? so, blowing up. Yeah, man. I mean, if to you magis- musicians who have a genuine heart, God bless you. But man, a lot of them, you could tell, you know. Yeah. Come on, man. But it's all good. Time only time will tell. And uh, and like I said, Lahaina, they are they are healing. You know, I can see that they are healing, and the community there is still strong, and they are still together. You know, even though people overlook them, they don't overlook each other. So yeah, you know, they got. Uh, Lahaina, they, they got each other over there. There's still people on the beach in Kanapali? Yeah, there is. It's crazy. Yeah. So so are there are people on the beach on Kanapali, mm-hmm. but then there's like tourists on the same beach on the just same tanning. same beach, tanning. Like it's, yeah. Not. Yeah. There's, For real? Yeah, there's Hawaiian flags all up the, down the beach and fishing poles out over here and then walk down a little bit more and it's just umbrellas and beach chairs and it's crazy. It's crazy. I can't even believe it's like that, but it is, you know. Like, you could go to the mall at Kanapali, you eat at the restaurant right there, and it's a beach view, but it's the beach view of everybody living there on the tent. You know, there's tents right there, and it's just, it's surreal, man. 
surreal. Some guys are, are taking it to the wire because they some guys are staying there to prove a point. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they are, and they're still staying there. You know, it's like crazy. Walk down a little bit, and then you could go be a tourist. It's just like fuck. And the tourists have to walk past them. You know, so it's like fuck. This is crazy shit. But man. also in Maui, when you want to get to Kanapali, mm-hmm. you have to pass Lahaina. The fire. It's only a two. Oh, yeah. It's only a two way street. Yeah, There's yeah. only two lanes, yeah, yeah. so you have to you have pass. To, yeah. Yeah, the whole city, the whole houses, yeah. all the houses, all the city, the, the historical city you got to pass, and then you got to pass the houses. Yeah. And when you pass the houses, it's more like, oh, man, you know, this shit happened here, you know? Like, fuck, uh, crazy shit to even think still yet. But one day they're going to make a movie about that, I promise you. Oh, <laughs> for yeah. For sure. Bro. For it's sure. Gonna re- You're going to watch it on Netflix and yeah, you're going to be no. like. <laughs> so, yeah, shake you know. your head. They're probably gonna. They're probably gonna try cover a lot of shit. You oh, know? guarantee. Yeah, you know, from a movie. Yeah, make Independence uh, Day Part Two. Exactly. Fucking Will Smith as the pilot yeah, again. Yeah, and yeah. The fucking thing. It was a giant laser yeah. the whole time. It was the a laser. laser. It was a laser. Yeah, was alien laser, guys. <laughs> Fuck us. The conspiracy was real. <laughs> hey, when 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 uh, Joe Biden came out and he said seven hundred dollar. Yeah, that's that, ridiculous. That moment, man. And he came to Maui and he was at the place, and my friend said he was sleeping. Yes, my friend said he's sleeping, and then my friend works uh, in uh, Tahoe, and he recorded Biden right from Maui. He went back to Tahoe to his uh, summer or his vacation home, yeah. and my friend recorded him coming back. Like you know, he didn't. He don't care. Of no. course not. As a no. fucking puppet. No, the fucking with the what was the story he said? You guys. And the story he said, like no, I can't. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I can garage understand. burned yeah. and my Camaro burned. I lost my cat. Yeah, yeah like my I cat lost my was lost in the fire. Oh, I, I know, I know. I was and, uh, shocked. Oh, and then, and then I come to find out it was he. He had his something in his kitchen got burnt. Or it was just his cabinet that got burnt, and they got yeah. extinguished. You know, like come on, you cook. You know, you can't even invent that. Yeah. If you would write yeah, a movie I know, I know. and you would say, "Oh, the president comes to the yeah. affected area. He flies yeah. in and he talks about his talks garage about and his cat." How he was you would so, be like, "Ah, that's yeah. such a cheesy movie. There's yeah, no way know, nobody would do that, it's right?" Com- it's like comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <Straight laughs> Straight up, really is, Straight yeah. up bro. It's like a com- com- comedy movie. Yeah. <laughs> Straight I up. I can't believe that guy did that. You know? Yeah. I was shocked. I was holding my jaw. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. I felt like I got slapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who needs a power slap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a power slap. Bro. Bro, just to wake up. Bro. Yeah, no, for real. Or right. don't wake up. <laughs> Goodness, bro. that guy, I don't know, man. Don't have no respect for that guy after, especially after that Maui stuff. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. I, I don't even. I'm not into politics or anything. I just needed to see that to know this guy's an idiot. You know yeah, know what I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. Fall asleep coming to the tragic place and say that you know how it is because your house burned down, you lost your cat. You, you didn't lose nothing. Come on. But also seven hundred dollars. I mean, seven hundred. Yeah, yeah seven hundred for everybody. Have yeah. you ever lived on Maui? Do you know how much things cost exactly, on Maui? I mean, seven hundred dollars. And it wasn't it, it wasn't even per person. It yeah. was per family, family. Per family. So if you have a family of five, yeah. it's still seven hundred. Yeah. You have a family of There's four. There's a hundred each, you guys. Yeah. You know? Fuck Come that. On. What are you gonna do with that? Exactly. That's why it was a spit in the face to all yeah. those guys. It really yeah. was, you know. Yeah. While he's sending uh, billions, billions over yeah. there. For uh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your guys president's nuts, bro. Yeah. Your guys president's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man, for real, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, fucking a, bro. Maui's mental. Yeah, sad. We, we love Maui. We we yeah. absolutely do. Hundred ten percent. You know, I I just can't stop thinking about how the community did it, and even with that, mm-hmm. it's still community involved. You know, oh, yeah. to this day, so Maui strong. Yeah, <laughs> Maui strong. Maui strong. Yeah. So, if you had one thing to um, to tell to our audience and our listeners. Yeah. What would it be? About Maui? About in general. About life. Oh, just in life? Man, uh, don't don't ever take things for granted, you know? And um always be grateful and uh, and love your 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 family, man. Tell and tell them too, like verbally. Um yeah, even your friends, you know, I've had a lot of friends recently that killed themselves and I wish I could tell them I love you. Um people think love is a, a like shows weakness or something, you know? It, it isn't you know love is amazing and, and it's okay to tell people you love them 
and before it's too late, you know. And 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 that's what I I wish I could go back in time and tell some people, I love them. Simply say you you love them because you never know where somebody needs that love and um, it could save them or it could change them, you know. And but love does a lot, man. And yeah, don't don't be. That's my message. Don't be ashamed to show love, you know. Because to me, God is love, and yeah, that's for, that's for the world, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing, man. I I. You know, when you say love, I feel I say aloha. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah, aloha is a little thing. bit more broad. Yeah. You know, yeah. It can be implemented in all many ways. Yeah. Because just like you say, yeah. Yeah. love. Sometimes people say, "Oh, I don't want to." Yeah. You know, yeah. seem like a kook. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't, love. Wanna, I don't wanna feel so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well then, put instead of love, mm -hmm. put the word aloha. Yeah, there you, you go. You feel right <laughs> yeah. more mana. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you feel okay, more well, proud. Yeah, you feel more proud. Okay, then let's do aloha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for sure but man. I agree and and you know on that note <laughs> are you ready yeah I am ready um you know we have uh, a little award for you we have the <laughs> Aloha Hour Hama what? Award yeah. <laughs> No way. Because you're one hammer. <laughs> I love it, bro. You've been a hammer. I'm going to freaking hang this <laughs> up, bro. Much love, you guys, man. Much, Much love, love, brother. Man. All Much day, love, bro. bro. All day, I'll man. I'm excited to see you. Uh, I'll bring this hammer right here, power slap. <laughs> I'll bring this shit away and I'm gonna that right here. I got my award, boys. Coming in, yes, boys. Sir. Coming in. <laughs> Let's test it out. <laughs> oh. Oh, I appreciate you guys. Fuck yeah. Well, thank you so much for flying over yeah. to talk to us. Uh, yeah. It means a thank lot to us. Thank you for having me, man. For uh, real. We, had a, we had a great time, you know, and I think that you were touching a lot of uh, very important points. Um, inspiring others. Yeah. This is what it's all about. That's what it's all about. For um, real. It's been tremendous watching yeah. you grow, bro. Thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate you, you know, appreciate moving that. lanes and yeah. you know, just not even just switching lanes, but just starting from being a one just scrappy guy to now <laughs> like knowing how to move in the game yeah. and just. Yeah. To just appreciate being it, like appreciate professional it. now, it's like, yeah. bro, it's crazy. Like, that's fucking Zach Zane, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, before, I used to just think, oh, Zach Zane, fuck, chop, bro, you can snap. <laughs> you know? And then now, like, you're just moving professionally uh, and doing everything you, nicely. Thank and I, I just think that's very, very remarkable and great to share you, with upcoming people who yeah. want to get into something. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, just like, ah, oh, switch lane here. That thing's popping right now. Yeah. I see it. It's going to blow. I'm going to yeah. be right there. <laughs> like, that is just nice yeah. to see, bro. Like, thank you, man. And thank I, I hope we get to see you live in person out here yeah. now you guys will soon very Ooh. soon man. very soon very soon but shout out to Dana White for yes. bringing uh, yeah. Power Slap to Honolulu oh, let's yeah. do it Dana yes. let's yes. do it we're here we're waiting for you it's we've gonna been be waiting for you Dana <laughs> yeah since day one Dana <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be sold out show Dana oh, you gotta 100%. come do a you gotta 100%. come do a fuck it Fridays with us local people and let us make your weird dish that you wanna eat yeah you know yeah, yeah, cause yeah, you know he's like yeah. super on his diet huh? yeah yeah you're like yeah. bro you ever tried a fucking we'll, mac salad musubi we'll make it bro <laughs> <laughs> try this shit bro <laughs> Oh, Gary. He's not ready. He's not ready. <laughs> He's not ready for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yes, Dana, power slap. Thank you. Let's go. Zach Zane, thank yeah, you, bro. Again. Thank you, Woo. bro. Thank you very much, everybody. We're the out. The Aloha Hammer. Yes. Oh, yeah. The Aloha Hour Hammer. <laughs> Let's go. Right.